welcome back to our Kitchen Rebel cooking series where we share our cooking recipes with you. Today we're paying special tribute to Marcella's Italian restaurant in Columbus, Ohio because they simply make the best meatball. So we've hacked the recipe and we're going to share it with you. So first let's get started in prepping our ingredients. Now this recipe is super unique because we have two parts to prep. We have to prep our sauce and then we have to prep our meatballs. So first we're gonna start with the sauce. Everything you need to make Marcella's mock sauce is two 28 ounce cans of whole peeled tomatoes, one white onion, almost an entire garlic flour, fresh basil, fresh Italian parsley, and fresh thyme, and of course we can't forget an Italian red wine. So we're gonna start prepping and we're gonna start making our sauce first so that it has time to cook down for about three hours. So we've went ahead and we've prepped our fresh herbs. We have thyme, Italian parsley, rosemary, and basil, about three chopped tablespoons. And by all means, go ahead and put those in a food processor or blender. You do want them pretty fine. So we need a third of cup of garlic, which seems like a lot, but trust me, it works. The trick is with the garlic, which we have right here, we're gonna also put that in a ninja to make sure we mince it. That way the garlic can really melt into the sauce. Now with the onion, we're gonna do a rough chop also in the ninja, but you don't have to be super precise. So we're gonna throw chunks about this size in the ninja and get a rough chop of garlic. Then we're gonna move it over to actually breaking down and cooking the sauce. So now we've prepped all of our ingredients we need to make our delicious sauce. I'm preheating two tablespoons of olive oil in my saucepan. Then we're gonna add our onions, then our garlic, our canned tomatoes, and then our fresh herbs. So we have heated our two tablespoons of oil and now we're adding our entire white onion. And we're gonna saute this on medium for about two minutes are a little bit translucent we're gonna go ahead and add our third cup of garlic and then we're gonna continue to cook this down for about a minute and a half then add salt and pepper to taste so now we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of Italian wine and we're gonna bring this to a boil and then reduce the heat to a medium low temperature to have it simmer. Now that our wine is at a simmer, we're gonna go ahead and add both cans with the juices of our tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and give this a stir, add our fresh herbs, bring this to a boil, and then cover it on a low simmer for three hours. And you'll be amazed how these tomatoes break down and all the flavor comes together. The sauce will become thick in a much richer wine color. It's gonna be so delicious. So now we're gonna prep our meatball mix. All the ingredients you're gonna need are right here on our cutting board. First, we're gonna go ahead and take about two slices of brioche bread minus the crust. Go ahead and grind that down in a Ninja or a blender to this fine texture. 
Then our sauce completed, rested, and cooled. The texture is going to be a chunkier marinara. So we have about a fourth to a half a cup of finished sauce. One full cup of heavy whipping cream. About a fourth tablespoon of crushed red pepper. One tablespoon of flour. About two tablespoons of combined garlic and onion powder. A half cup of whole milk ricotta cheese. And about a third cup of all of our fresh herbs mix. We're gonna go ahead and combine all the dry ingredients and then add our meat. So we have our brioche breadcrumbs, our crushed red pepper, our flour, our garlic and onion powder, our fresh herbs, and you want about three tablespoons. I like to go a little heavy on it. And then we're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. Now we have all of our dry ingredients in this mixing bowl and they're all mixed together. We are gonna go ahead and add eight ounces of fresh ground beef and eight ounces of fresh ground veal. And I went ahead and measured it out. Looks like this, so we're just gonna dump this in here. Now you can use a mixer to mix all your ingredients. I, however, prefer to use my hand. So whatever you're comfortable with. So we're gonna go ahead and start to knead the dry ingredients into our veal and beef mixture. And you can see I like to kind of scoop and then press down. And it really just smells so delicious. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our wet ingredients to our meat mixture. First, we're gonna go ahead and add our whole milk ricotta, a half a cup. And the whole milk makes such a huge difference in moisture and texture. And you'll notice too, those brioche breadcrumbs, we don't dry them out because brioche is sweet, buttery, and super moist. So your meat is gonna stay really nice and moist and fluffy. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a fourth to a half a cup of our cooled and completed marinara sauce. And this is the texture. You want it to be thick and you can see the color. This is the outcome. So we're gonna go ahead and add that as well. And now we're just gonna go ahead and kind of lightly mix these together. Like I said, you can use a mixer. I'm gonna use my hands in a minute. Just kind of get it in there. Now the trick with uh, this Marcella's meatball is we're gonna complete our meat mix and we're going to let it set overnight. And the reason we're gonna go ahead and let this mix set overnight is all the flavors are gonna combine and the meat really picks up all the moisture. So when we do cook the meatballs, they are going to stay moist and almost fall apart in your mouth, which that's what Marcella's is known for. The texture, the soft, creamy texture of the meatball. And this is how they do it. So now that we have our meat mixture, our spices, have all been mixed thoroughly, we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now the trick to the whipping cream is we're gonna add this slowly and gently blend it into our meat mixture. You can absolutely, again, use a mixer on low, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands again. So you're just gonna pour just a little bit in there and you're gonna knead it into the meat. And this is to get all the cream in the meat mixture, you are going to mix and knead for about six minutes. So you just really want to make sure you evenly distribute the cream into the entire mixture. Once we have all the cream mixed into the meat, we are going to refrigerate this mix for an entire day. And that's going to allow all the flavors to blend and the cream to really absorb the fresh spices and the meat to absorb all the moisture from the cream and the ricotta so that when we do fry and bake the meatballs, they stay so soft and moist inside. let our meat 
Balm Mixture set overnight. And here's the finished product. So you can tell it's a light pink and it has a really creamy kind of moussey texture. So all that cream and ricotta really settled in and it's gonna keep our meatballs super moist when we deep fry it and then bake it. So Marcello's is known for their big meatballs and they're about six ounces, which is about three fourths a cup. We are going to see how far we get with our mixture. We're gonna go a little bit large, but maybe just a tad bit smaller than Marcella's generally does. So I have about a half cup here. We're gonna go ahead and measure that out and then add just a little bit more. We're gonna roll our meatballs and then we're gonna fry them. So yeah, this is about six ounces. And I have a little piece of wax paper. That way, because these are so moist, they don't get stuck. And wow, you can really smell how amazing all those ingredients really came together. This is, it really does smell like Marcella's. This is gonna be great. I hope you guys make this. assembled we're gonna go ahead and heat about two to three tablespoons of olive oil in a skillet deep fry the meatballs for about a minute to a minute and a half till they have a golden brown crust transfer them to a baking dish top them with sauce and then bake them at 325 for about 30 to 35 minutes Three at a time, that way I can keep my eye on We want to turn on, make sure we get everything. So we got that crust, so you can see the golden crust start to form in this one. But we don't want to burn them, so that's the trick. We got to really keep it, keep an eye. And you can see how moist they are. They want to fall apart almost. So this is going to be the most challenging part of the recipe. Now we're going to go ahead and put our sauce over top each meatball and then pop it in the oven for 35 minutes. covered in our delicious sauce. We're gonna cover them with a piece of tin foil and pop them in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. taken our meatballs out of the oven and transferred them onto a family style dish. I'm gonna go ahead and top them with just a little teeny bit of Parmesan cheese and fresh basil and definitely use the excess sauce to coat the meatballs once you get them to the dish that you're gonna be serving them in. I cannot wait to try these. It smells exactly like Marcello's in here. This recipe is a lot of effort, but props to Marcella's for nailing it. It's totally worth a try. Give this a whirl, for sure. Mm -hmm. 